Representing the graduates is a member of the class who will deliver the address of welcome on their behalf, Maria Palmer. Good morning, and welcome to today's ceremony for the graduating class of April 17, 2015. <laughs> I would like to start off by welcoming President Ryan, our commencement speaker, Linton Hopkins, and all of our family and friends that have traveled to be with us here today. I'm sure all of you remember your first week here at the Culinary Institute of America. I think we can all agree it was much different than any other typical college experience. Not many colleges hand you a backpack full of knives and tools, stark white chef coats and checkered pants, and say good luck. <laughs> However, this different experience caused us to bond as a class immediately. From sharing our stories about the cuts and burns that we've received, to arguing about what is really the best way to get our whites completely white, there's never a dull story to be told. Time quickly flew by, and we were no longer those new students in stark white jackets with green lanyards around our necks, but the students who were back from externing all around the world with endless stories to share with everyone. To many, food is seen as an object or a need in life. To us, it is a passion and a lifestyle. We are all here today because we've had the opportunity to pursue this passion. We have learned from some of the best chefs who have constantly pushed us to strive to be better than the best. Through long nights memorizing wines and making timelines for our practical exams, we have had each other to lean on. We have spent more hours with each other during a day than we have without, so leaving here is going to be a new adventure for all of us. However, our relationships and memories are things we will cherish forever. I will continue to say behind to random people in the grocery store, <laughs> And yes, chef, when someone asks me a question. At least, I'll think it. Because these are a part of who we are. Every I'm sorry, chef, and yes, chef, has been a lesson in life. We have learned that our best can always get better, to never give up, and that no matter what, we will have our family here at the CIA to turn to. Without the support of our families, our chefs, and each other, we would not be where we are today. So thank you to our families for listening to our endless stories about food, and for supporting us through our time here at the Culinary Institute of America. To all of our chefs and professors, thank you for sharing your experiences, advice, and guidance with us throughout our time here. Thank you for always demanding nothing but the best, because now we are able to go out and create a better future because of it. Also, thank you for eating our food and making us eating it too when we made a mistake. We have definitely learned to never make those same mistakes again. Finally, to my fellow classmates, Thank you for being like family through all of the ups and downs here at school. Chef Shorner once said, the best cookbook is not the one you buy, it's the one you make. So now is the beginning of each of our cookbooks. Good luck in all of your future endeavors, and remember that no matter what obstacle anyone may throw your way, never say it cannot be done. If the door is closed, go through the window. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. That was very well done. We're very proud of you as well as very proud of this entire class.